What's up everybody, it's a boy Kirby here. Welcome to a game called Frosty Nights. Now, this is a new series on the channel. I don't know how many episodes it will be, but I will be uploading this every day until Christmas Day. Uh, yeah. And then that, I ain't got much. Um, quit, okay. Now, I will have to say, um, I do plan on not really editing these videos. Depending. Oh, I'm in bed. Teddy bear. Hello. So that's just heads up in case, you know, you guys think you're overly edited. Sh okay. Mystery door. What could be inside? I don't know. New game. I, oh, boy, girl. I'm a boy. A boy. Oh. Uh, pick up, interact. Right. Oh. You can either do either or, right? Yeah, either or. Okay. There you go. Okay, we're making a snowman. Ooh. Give him the carrot. Right. Let's just, yeah. What are, the, are these buttons? Oh, it's everything. The eyes, mouth, and buttons. Okay, let's give him the scarf. Uh, There's twigs there for the arms. Let's give him the top hat. Can I run? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. That's fine. Give him the arms. Holy! I just tossed it. My god, I'm a genius. That's his uh, left arm. Let's give him the right. Give him the right arm. There you go. You happy, Mr. Snowman? You happy? But you're happy, Mr. Frosty Man. Whoa! Sandy Claus here. Hello, oh dear. What is that? Oh, it's an owl! You're sniffing his armpit! Wow. Oh. Um. Okay, can I zoom in? I can. Uh, story time. I hid my story tapes around my room to stop mom for stop my mom from finding them. I'm not sleepy yet. I might find them and play them in my tape player. I won't have time to listen to them again. I have five tapes. Let's I walk and interact. Okay. Um. Where could it be? So dark. What the hell? All right. Don't stay up too late, okay? You've got your first day at school tomorrow, and no listening to those horror stories anymore. You know they give you nightmares. Sweet dreams. Love you. What did I do with my? What did I do with that? Okay. Well, I lost it. Can I take this? Oh, I can. Oh, oh, oh! A tape. A tape. What a tape. Here we go. Frosty Nights. Chapter 1. Welcome, children, to a wonderful, magical, and yet grisly story that old Saint Nicholas never wanted you to know. This story takes us back a long, long time ago, when old Nicholas still had flecks of ginger in his beard. We'll just call him by what everyone today know him as, Santa. We will start from the very beginning, when Santa was still scouring the world for the perfect place to build his workshop. He found none better than the North Pole, where magic seeped readily from the earth. 
So much magic was there that Santa learned to use the magic in ways he had never dreamt. His body no longer grew old. He could slow time around him to a near complete stop, and as long as he gathered enough magic, he knew he could travel the world in what to us was a single day. Even slowing time as he could, Santa quickly realized to make enough toys for every child in the world would take him far too long. So Santa placed his hands into the snow and called to Mother Nature herself for help. Mother Nature was gentle as she was wild. She saw the kindness in Santa's heart and agreed to help by melding Santa's magic and Mother Nature's spirit into the snow itself. The first of the snowmen bubbled up from the ground like liquid snow, yet unmoving and lifeless just as the snowmen we know today. Mother Nature seemed to pause before then placing a carrot for its nose. You see, Everything that is alive requires a small part of life to begin with. The acorn for the oak tree, the egg for the red robin, and the love of a mother and father for humanity. The carrot twitched, and ever so slowly eyes within the sphere of snow began to appear and opened for the first time. Santa slanted his head to the side in a curious thinking gaze as he took off his scarf and hat and placed it upon the snowman. Taking a step back, he looked again and smiled. The snowman smiled back. As Santa the father and Mother Nature as the mother, the snowman were all too happy to help Santa build his workshop and all the toys for every child in the world. Okay, I think that's tape one. Okay. Let me need to, what the hell is this? What is that? Tape. It's tape. Uh, okay, we need to find the other four tapes. Is there any in here? Uh, there is. There is, actually, yes. Okay, I got it. Go ahead and listen to it. Chapter 2. Many years had passed, and children throughout the world had Christmas within their hearts. Santa had delivered toys year after year to the children of the world, and the world was a better place for it. However, there were children who were not happy with Santa's toys alone, and demanded more and more. The parents of many of these children succumbed to their child's wishes, and began to buy more and more as each year passed. Each year more and more trees were getting cut down, toy factories could not keep up with the demand, and forests were not being replanted and regrown as Santa did with his magic. Mother Nature watched as the birds, squirrels, deer, bears, and countless more of her children were left homeless and died. Mother Nature once saw humanity as her children, but each year as the destruction for toys carried on, she became more and more furious. Santa understood Mother Nature's anger and tried to make amends by creating the naughty list. Any child who was undeserving would not receive Santa's toys, and the spare magic from making those toys would be given to the forests of the planet to help grow and recover. Mother Nature was happy for a time, until even this did not offset humanity's greed. Humans, now with great machines, powered from the fossils of her most ancient children, began to pollute the air, water, the earth. Forests vanished before her eyes, and entire species began to die. Mother Nature wept for many years, hoping humanity would hear her and stop the pain they were causing. Her cries were drowned out by the drills boring into the planet, the saws biting into the trees, and the roaring of flames in engines. The pain turned to anger, and the anger to fury. Santa was helpless as Mother Nature's suffering began to warp the minds of the snowmen. 
One by one, they stopped working on toys and slowly but surely faded into the distance as they left the workshop behind. Santa eventually found the elves high up in the mountains that were glad to be of help to Santa. However, our story is with the snowman and not Santa. Okay. I need to find a few more tapes. Did I miss one in here? No. Um. Whoa. Hello, off of there. Is there any in here? Oh, hello. It says hello in there as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Help! Oh, I'm free. Where could these stories be? Just open it just so... I already listened to this one, right? I thought I did. Chapter 3. Guess not. John had just gotten home from school. He quickly grew excited as he spotted the snowman outside his bedroom window. John's dad often made him surprises, and he quickly ran out to decorate the snowman. John used his favorite scarf and hat and found the shiniest rocks he could for the buttons. John was very proud of his decorations, and soon it was time for him to go to bed. Looking out the window, he smiled at the snowman as his eyes slowly began to close. John awoke with a chill in the air and snow on his bed. He opened his eyes to see the window was wide open. Confused and sleepy, he got up and closed the window. As he looked out, however, he noticed the snowman's hat was missing. It must have blown off in the wind, he thought. Upon getting back into bed, he found the hat on top of his covers. He stopped and thought for a moment. His mom must have taken it off and put it there for him. After all, he no longer had a hat to wear for school tomorrow, and it was very cold outside in the mornings. The next day, John returned again from school, and a second snowman was right next to the first. He couldn't believe it. His dad had built him a second. He went into the closet and found his box of old worn clothes, hats and scarves too tattered to wear, but sentimental enough to keep. John decorated the second and again smiled with pride, as it almost seemed like the snowman smiled back at him. A trick of the imagination. And John thought how cool it would be if snowmen really were alive. Okay, that's another one. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that uh, they're not respawning. Okay, they're not. They're not basketball. Where's, is there a hoop? Uh, fuck. Where'd it go? Ma! Basketball's gone! Oh. Oh, I think they're spawning in as as I go. Oh. Chapter 4. The sound of snow filled wind blowing through the room. The screech of an open window hinge as it bangs to and fro. John opens his eyes once again, tiredly shuffling out of bed to close his window. John freezes as his hand reaches for the latch. Only one of the two snowmen are outside his window. Why has someone moved it? John hears a dripping sound coming from his closet. John may only be a child, but he's never been scared of the dark or monsters. He's too clever to believe in fairy tales. So why would monsters be any more real than those? He heads over to the closet and with a gentle pull, begins to open the door. Uh, where could the last one be? Let's have a look in here. Hello? Ah, here it is. Uh, can I, do I have it? And now I do, okay. Woo. There we go. 
Chapter 5 John's vision begins to adjust into the darkness from staring at the bright moonlight outside. Nothing. His closet is empty besides a few boxes. The dripping sound continues, though, so he steps inside to try and listen to where it's coming from. As he does so, he hears a loud thud near his still open window. John pokes his head out of the closet, and there in front of the window is the snowman that only a minute ago was standing outside. The snowman is different, lifelike, with sharp, pointed teeth and a hungry grin curling more and more to the sides as it starts to move closer. John is frozen in fear. He doesn't understand. There is no logical explanation. He slowly backs away further into the closet. He feels something wet on his head. Drip, drop, drip, drop. As John looks up, the missing snowman is on the ceiling, holding itself up with big, branched arms. John sees the other snowman now in front of the closet, arms reaching. The closet door begins to close, and complete darkness envelops John. Rough-knotted branch fingers wrap around John's head, and a gruesome snap and popping sound echoes through the room from that dark closet. John is never seen again. The house is put up for sale shortly after, however, with the disappearance of John well known throughout the town, a young boy who suddenly vanished without a trace from his bed one frosty night, the house remained unsold and empty for many years. Until this night, in fact. Which, my child, is where our story begins. Huh? You telling me that wasn't me, even though I built it? Shit. Oh shit. Um. You want? You good? Oh, I don't know why keeps doing that. I walk into the chair and it's just like making me do some Michael Jackson shit. Are you done? Are we done? Okay, strategy plan. The snowman is coming. I have to prepare. I need to find something to scare snowmen. Something to see in the dark. Something to bind both of them together. Trying to swap between them would be dangerous. I should bring everything to the table. Okay, will do, will do. Um. Okay, is this something? Scare, see in the dark. I'm holding the thing to see in the dark. And some to bind them together. There we go. Oh! Oh! What is this contraption? Before each night, I should search for useful things and put them where they will help. Best defensive position to stairish night. Okay. Anything on the back? No. Okay, what am I looking for now? Bunny, help me. Oh, let me close that. Fuck out of here. Um. What am I looking for? Hmm. Ambulance? No. Hell's gonna help me. Where's... Where's Teddy? Teddy! Teddy! I saw... I saw Teddy earlier. I saw Teddy earlier. He's been kidnapped. Teddy bear has been kidnapped. Am I just hopping into bed? That is. No. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Where's the teddy bear? Okay. Right, so it's right click to turn on the fan or the hair dryer. 
The fuck? And it's left click for light. Um, that window is wide open. That's not good. Fuck. The hell's that? Dear. What are you doing? What are you doing, you dear? What's wrong with you? Making me all scared and all that. Um. Um. <laughs> Ambulance. Shut the fuck up. Is it dying? I think it's dying. Good. Um. It's a lot like Boogeyman. I don't know if you guys remember that from earlier this year. Um. Hello? Is there a way to turn off motion blur? I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. What's the time? Okay. What time am I surviving to? Is it 6 a.m.? 7? 8? I don't know. Is that window I'm very worried about at the moment? A lot's happening, which is very good. It is very good. I don't want a lot of things happening at the moment. Be very bad otherwise. Is that a noise? Did I hear a noise? No? Jesus, ask you. Oh. That scared me for some reason. Um. Hmm. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Saw fingers there earlier, and that's it. He just hasn't come back. Um, hello? Hello? Fucking saw that shit. So I have two windows open. Oh god. Hello? Hello? I thought I heard a noise. I, I swear I'm hearing noises. I swear I am. Oh, 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 hi! Oh. You still... Oh. <laughs> you fucking scared me. Start spamming all the damn buttons. Okay, so there's a way there. There's a way there. There's a way there. That's possibly a way. I need to be very diligent. Please. I'm not seeing anything. Which is good. I believe it's good. What time is it? Oh my god, okay, nearly 5 a.m. Okay. The fuck? You gone? I think you are gone. I think that's... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Just, just, just... Blow the air... Air dryer. The hair dryer until... He's melting like that.
You opened up the windows and came through the door. Twice. Twice, man. Is he gonna try again or no? Hope not. It's 540. Uh, 540 at the moment. Come on. Go on. What was that? Oh. Oh, it's getting brighter. <laughs> Jesus. Is that good? Is that good? Santa, you can stop jiggling your bells. <laughs> oh, hello. Snowman with big ass fucking teeth. Oh my god. Oh! I see how it is. Snowmen are plotting against me. Okay. Um, I should look for things that make noises and try to put them in places that will alert me to where the snowman is coming from. I'll need to get back into bed when I'm finished. Okay. Okay. Where the hell am I going to find all these things? Is there anything in here? No. Is there anything in here? Oh. Um, where can I put this? Can I put this here? No. Can I put this on the door? No. Where can I put this? Wait, where can I put it? Okay. Found it. Scared the shit out of me. Teddy bear. Um. Where can I put teddy bear? Put him on the window. Put him on this window. On the floor? The door? Teddy bear, okay. And... Is there wind chimes in here? Oh! Hello? What the, my fucking house? Here? Or this window? Probably this window. Okay. Right. That snowman are breaking in. That snowman was in the vents as well, now that I think about it. Is there a vent anywhere? Um, there. Okay, gotcha. So I need to pay attention to that and that and listen to the noises. The ping. Hey. Ping, squeak. Dingling. Okay. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Um, don't do that again, please and thank you. What was that drawing always there? That one? I don't remember it being there. Fuck off! Oh, I don't think I can actually stop him. Uh oh, there's a blizzard. It's a blizzard. Or a snowstorm. Whatever. Same thing. Oh god. Shut up! The basketball fell. Is it gone? Is the snowstorm gone? It's gone. Good. That's good. Okay, now I can go back to listening.
Shit. I don't think I can stop him. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, you're gone. Bye bye, bitch. Ah, is the vent actually a way to come in? Because. They haven't even, like, tried. So I don't know. I don't... What the hell, man? We're just here. We're just here. Okay. 3 a.m. Pretty much. What the f out of my house. Jesus. Hello? Hello? Heard noises. Were they on the roof? Hope not. I saw you. I saw you. Take me for a fool. Shut up, owl. Jesus. Can't handle you. So noisy. Right, go away. Get out of here. Go. Um. Where are the snowmen? You're planning something. You're scheming. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um. Um. Huh? How do I do? How? Shit! 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 No! 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 Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh, that was awful timing. That was awful timing. Get out of here. Um. The light went out. The light went out. Oh no. Oh no. 5 30. Oh god, come on. Come on, am I good? Are they gonna try again? One more time? No? Yes? No? I think I'm okay. I think I'm good. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Almost scared me again. <laughs> Let's go. That's night two done. I actually don't know how many nights there are. I don't know if it even says in the description. Oh, mouse. My guy's seeing some shit. Jesus. Oh my god. Hello. That was just pure silence. Night three. Oh, we're going straight in. Okay. Right. We'll be careful. We'll try not to die. And yeah. Oh, it is changing. It is. What the fuck? Get out of here. How's wrong with you? The oh, fuck is two of them? Fuck. What the fuck? What's happening? 
Jesus. It's like three. God, lads, I'm not going anywhere. Shit. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. I need to be fast. I need to be fast and careful. Go. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Come on. So, when I'm at that door, I can't do anything. I can't go back. Oh, hello. Is that the plane that just went flying? Oh. What was that? Hello? Um... I don't know what that noise was. What's happening? What? What the fuck? Oh, 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 the light went out. The light went out. Um... Come on. Oh! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! Um... Hello? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God. Oh Jesus, okay. Get him, get him, get him, okay. Um. Oh God. Can I, can I go for it? I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Shit! Not again! Come on! Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh my god, okay. Come on, I just closed it. Okay, cool. Make sure, make sure. Okay, close it, close it, close it. Fuck, not again! Oh! Oh! Oh my god. That was really close. I was pretty close. Whoa! Shit, son of a bitch! Door is closed. Cheater. Oh, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. They are after me. Oh my god. <sighs> Go away. Okay. I need to focus. I need to focus. There's a deer. Oh god. Am I good? Oh my god. Hello. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Die! Die! There's a bug. It's a bug. Okay. Oh my god! Oh! Okay. Um, that's, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Um, hello. <laughs> we good? I don't know. I don't have a lot of batteries in my uh, hair dryer. Oh, God. Um. Okay, he's gone. Okay, I guess I'm, guess I'm, guess I'm. Guess I'm. Okay, am I good? Am I good? Am I good? I'm good. I'm good. Am I ready though? Am I good? Oh, is it stopped? Oh my god, okay. Okay, oh my god, Jesus Christ. 
Oh. This was an intense night. That was only night three. There's another snowman. God damn it, man. Hey! You need Frosty alone. Alright, no, no, no. We're not doing night four. We're not doing night four. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. <laughs> There's a new painting right there. Oh, God. Alright, so that was uh, Frosty Nights. This is part one of I don't know how many parts, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.